Hey there, I'm Rick Brown, and today I'm going to talk to you about Southwest Airlines' early bird check-in program. The early bird check-in program is a cool little perk by Southwest Airlines, and Southwest Airlines, for most of you, may already know that it is um, probably one of the top-tier discount carriers based out of the U.S. They no longer fly only domestically. They do have a few international locations to Mexico, uh, Costa Rica, and I'm sure they have some other uh, flights planned internationally, but um, most of the time they will fly to secondary airports. That's how they keep their costs down. Southwest also uh, will not allow you to book tickets through uh, third-party travel sites like Expedia. This is another way they keep their costs down. And of course, they fly only 737s. And this is another way they keep their costs down because all their crew and pilots are trained on one aircraft instead of multiple different aircraft. So it makes it a lot easier as an airline to keep and control costs. So the early bird check-in program is a very simple uh, perk that you get with Southwest. It's uh, only one uh, fee of $15 per passenger one way. So if you have a round trip ticket, you would have to make that purchase twice if you want this perk in both directions. You don't have to buy it for both legs. You can buy it for one. You can buy it for both. It's up to you. Uh, but keep in mind that once you purchase, it is non-refundable. And at the maximum, it'll cost you would be $25 per leg. Uh, if your flight is under two hours, um, you may want to consider not making that purchase. I probably wouldn't. Um, the perks aren't that great to me, but I am a big person and I certainly don't like sitting in a, a middle seat. I would prefer an aisle just so I can stretch my legs and if I'm tired, I'd like the window. Uh, so I may, depending on my mood, uh, I may just go ahead and purchase it as you might make that decision as well. But just to go over this, it's only, it starts at just $15 the maximum of 25 uh, one way per passenger. So the three benefits you get are the automatic check-in, uh, the better boarding position and early access to overhead bins. And with the automatic check-in, um, you can actually check in to this and you get a better boarding position. As most people know, Southwest has three boarding groups, A, B, and C. These are not seat assignments, these are boarding groups. So when you check in with Southwest, you're assigned a group and you're assigned a number. Um, so when you show up to the airport, they will call people by groups and then you line up with your group and you board, board the flight. If you're the early bird check-in, you could have that um, deeply discounted ticket and you could board just after the A-listers who are group A and before the B and C, which are general public. So that gives you a better boarding position and you can do this within 36 hours of your departure, which gives you that leg up over the general public who are boarding or general boarding groups that are uh, able to check in 24 hours before the, the, the uh, departure time. Then you also get uh, earlier access to overhead bins, obviously, because you're getting on the plane first. Before the majority of the passengers, you'll have access to overhead bins in space. And nothing it could be worse than getting on a flight and you are trying to find an overhead bin. You can't find it. And you have to then stick your bag at the back of the plane or someplace that is just quite inconvenient. So if you're trying to get off the plane and you're rushed for time, you have to wait for all these passengers to get off before you can access your bag, which is in a different overhead bin to where you're sitting. That can be a pain in the butt. So uh, again, first tier members who are the A-list and A-list preferred, they would have first rights to board the flight. But again, even before they're boarding, uh, this is a little tip. If you're traveling with somebody who's disabled or you're traveling as a family, you would actually board before the first tier members. So it doesn't make sense to make that purchase with early bird. Okay, after the, after the uh, first tier would be early bird. So you, if you're a purchaser of an early bird voucher, you would get in uh, next before the general public. And then of course the general public would begin to board. It's as simple as that. And you can access your boarding pass uh, 24 hours prior to departure. That's as simple as the program works. But again, my tips would be if you're traveling with somebody who's disabled or you're traveling as a family, you as a companion of those family members or the disabled passenger would have access to uh, board the plane before anybody else. Um, just a little, little tip to note that you shouldn't have to then buy the earlier board pass. You can also, uh, with um, uh, Southwest Airlines, you can actually get access to their um, a preferred credit card, which gives you uh, four passes per year. And you may want to consider using those instead of actually making the purchase with Early Bird. 
So those are some uh, some options and some tips for you. Uh, visit my website, uh, www.savvytravelhacker.com for travel trips, travel bookings, and awesome travel products. This is Rick Brown signing off. <laughs>